Ben, we are about to meet a truly incredible Australian. His name is Josh Wood. He, 14 years ago, broke his neck in a snowboarding accident and was told he would never take another step. He has defied the experts and learned to walk again, and now he is helping others, including rugby league player Alex McKinnon. Have a look. The fact Josh Wood can walk at all is something medical professionals cannot explain. I attempted to jump a road, which was a bit over 80 feet, and I came short and landed on the back of my head where I snapped from C, um, C5 down to T1. C, drop. It was scary because I knew I'd changed my whole destiny and my whole life with one mistake. It's been 14 years since Josh broke his neck, doing what he loved most. 14 years since he was diagnosed as a complete quadriplegic. The duty doctor came in and he just said to me straight away, you've done your ultimate goal, all your extreme sportsmen are the same. You know, you're either happy when you're dead or paralysed and he said you'll never walk again. It was a fate that then 18 year old refused to accept. He started by setting small goals. Through nothing but his sheer will to walk again, his first achievement was scratching his nose. What followed defied everything doctors thought possible. I ended up walking out of the same doors I came in on the stretcher, I think it was four months later. When I say walking, it wasn't like I strolled out. It was a really rigid walk and I probably walked about five feet, but I walked out of those doors. Last month, he returned to the slopes and his board. For the first time, I felt like me again and even better version. You know, he doesn't tell me that I'm going to walk, but it gives you some sort of hope to never give up. Like, the last thing people want to do is give up and be in a wheelchair for the rest of their life. At 20, Bodie Tatum is just two years older than Josh was when he had his crash. Oh, what's doing? <laughs> like Josh, Bodie's passion for an extreme sport has changed his life. When he crashed his dirt bike three months ago, he was left paraplegic. The last thing you want to hear, 20 years old, he's never going to walk again sort of thing. Like Josh, Bodhi will not accept the diagnosis. The pair have forged a bond. Josh is a friend <laughs> and mentor. I could feel the bottoms of my feet, but that was it. I couldn't feel like my legs. Yeah. When you see stories of people that have beat this and like can go and walk into hospital and prove them wrong, you just think that I'm going to do the same too and I'll, you'll prove your doctors wrong. 14 years on, Josh is still proving his doctors wrong. It's good just to be back here knowing that I'm standing. And he's determined to inspire others, like Bodhi. He's written a book, and Alex McKinnon is one of the many patients who've reached out seeking his help. It's not about telling them they're going to walk again, it's just to give them hope that, you know, who knows what could happen. You'd rather fight than just to give up. What an amazing young Isn't man, Bodie as well. Lovely, lovely guys. And and Alex McKinnon, you know, that Australia has reached out to Alex, but it's lovely to know that Alex can see that he's got a mentor yeah. in Josh. Absolutely, good looking bloke too, Josh. Very good looking. Kelly Slater looks a bit like Kelly Slater. Got a touch of the Kellys.